Uh, I love the One Percent Club. Thank you. Uh, it's a really. I'm know, going on Sunday to do more. Are you great? Yes. It's you know it's so difficult, isn't it, to for, to come up with something that's fresh within that game show environment, and when when a, when a new thing comes through that. Absolutely, I can't take any credit. No. I didn't come up with the idea at all, so I know it's a good format because it's not yeah. my format. But the reason I knew it was a good format in the pilot, I said. There's no way these 100 contestants are going to laugh at the jokes. They're too busy trying to win 100,000 quid. So you need to make me a bank of like 100 people above them. And they're the audience. They're not playing. They're just watching the show. All right. And at least we get some laughs off them, you know. Yeah. So they built this thing. And then we started playing on the pilot. And then uh, I just got no laughs. And I realized that actually that's because they were playing along as well. Yes. They were intrigued by the quiz. And I thought, oh, this is a good, this yeah. is a good format. Because my jokes are so brilliant, it must be something else. <laughs> So I thought, yeah, they're intrigued by the game, which is great. Yeah. So, yeah, no, it's good. It's good fun. And the guys who run it are brilliant. They, they are so meticulous about it. If it says 70% question, that has been researched to an inch of its life. Right. It really is 70%. And I have loads of debates I'll, in rehearsals. I go, there is no way on God's earth that 10% of people in this country did not know the difference between a giraffe and a zebra. <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out 10% of the British public are fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for coming. <laughs> and does that translate within the game? or Because you must get people who want to do, who are good at quizzes, mainly. You get all it? sorts. They're, yeah. they're very, it's very well cast. You know, they'll, yeah. they'll deliberately cast people that are good fun. They'll cast people that are very bright. They'll cast... There's, there's a real mix of people. Yeah. And so, yeah, you, you get some proper serious logic. Because it's, it's weird, because you... Even though you think about serious quizzes doing it, sometimes... I mean, I've sat at home with my kids and done it, and yeah. one each... It's not like the same person is getting it right every time. Someone will get it right, then another child will get it right. Yeah. No friends are there, it's just my family. <laughs> You're picturing the scene, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Right, you lot, sit there and watch me. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so it's 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 nice because it's logic, you know. But it, it starts off ridiculously easy and ends up ridiculously hard. Yeah. And have you ever got a one percent question? Uh, no, I don't think I have. And, and, and I would I would fall. There's usually something in there that trips me up anyway. You know, like some some of the I'm not so good at the like logic, you know, yeah. shape things like that. We have to translate shapes or work out. Yeah, yeah. Or do so, we? But it's quite brutal, though, isn't it? Because if you make a mistake, you're out. That's, you know, there's a lot... There's well, you, quite you've a lot got a pass, which... Yeah. At home, you're not using your pass, so you right. would have that pass. But it's also true that in the studio, when you're doing it properly, you don't pause, go and make a cup of tea, no. and seven minutes later go, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> so when people say, I went all the way last night, I go, did you? Yeah. In 30 seconds, well, I paused. Yeah. 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 No, it's, it's hard. And, and when you do those things, I've done quite a lot of... Uh, these TV things, I'm sure you you have. Pointless. When when you do it, when you when you do it in in uh, real life, it's you know it's it is genuinely harder. Oh, you, you get those blank mo you get those blanks, which I think I would definitely get in. in I mean, I, I genuinely my memory is so bad now that we record the show, then six <laughs> months later it's on. My kids love it, so they sit there with a pen and paper and have a little competition, and I I'm allowed to play along because they know my memory is so bad I won't remember what the answers are anyway. <laughs> right. And I will find myself going, stop doing jokes, dickhead. I'm trying to work this out <laughs> to myself on the telly. I'm heckling myself from yeah. six months ago. I mean, this is the great thing about being a middle-aged man. Is, uh, you know, you just forget. Just every, forget. You can watch films again. You can read books again. Yeah. You suddenly read a book and go, oh, I've, I've read this. I've read that, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at my kids, realising I'm not even in the right house. <laughs> it's awful. How are you finding... The house, somebody yeah, takes me. How are you, how are you, how are you, how are you finding getting older? Because oh, I've, I've known grim. you for a long time. Do you know what? I, I've got a staircase that properly bends like that. And I was walking up it the other day, because I play five a side each week, and it's agony. And I was walking up like that, and I just looked, and I found myself going, I reckon in, when I'm about 70 to 75, this would be perfect for a standard chair lift. <laughs> and then I thought... Is it really bad to get ready by having it now? Because 
it is hurting my knee going up the stairs and it'd just be helpful after a football match to get up there. Yeah, I, and also with those things, you don't want to leave it too late. You won't get much use out of it if you leave it to the yeah. last minute. You know, you want to so get it get now. It, you so want to get it before you need it. Yeah, so that you can get some use out of it. Because yeah, a lot of the time, people must get these adaptations to their houses. But also, you've got to be fit because, like, I'm really tight. I'm making it myself. I'm not paying for it. Right, OK. <laughs> I've got to be fit enough to get the, all the elastic bands stretched. Yeah. You know. <laughs> So yeah, no, I, I, I don't like it. It is, things are falling apart now a bit, definitely. Do you feel like time's like really speeding up? Because I just, I, every now and again, I realise I'm 56 and then I... Well, I do have these moments. I have to admit, we were sat backstage then and we don't receive each other that often. No. And of course, Adam, who's, I was going to say only in the second half, but that's yeah, in your not, podcast. It's, no it's not going to make any sense no, whatsoever. And we all three of us probably don't see each other that often. No. And by fuck, we all three of us look older, don't we? <laughs> don't we? Because we used to be young 20-year-old comedians or 30, whatever, yeah. dashing around four or five gigs a night. And I was like, how are you? Yeah, you know, my knees. How are you? <laughs> well, it's my back, really. You know, I get pains in the base of my back. Anyway, should we get on so I can talk about all your failures? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> yeah, let's go on. You're good now because you're getting old. You've got more failures, but we want to talk about. Oh, lovely. Thanks. I've got so more. That. I've got more. Um, and I think, like, because... Do you ever think of doing it with your cock out? <laughs> no, it's just an idea I had about your sitcom. It's like it's semi, but it's like a semi-erection. I, I oh. guess with alternative comedy, it was quite... Everyone was quite young. I mean, I know it's been going since the 80s, so the people who were, who were there at the start are pretty old now. No, but there were, there, when we were doing it and starting doing it, there weren't loads of... Well, like, when we were growing up, watching it. telly in the 70s, the comedians, as in the TV show, The Comedian, yeah. It might have just been because we were young, but they all looked in their 50s, mm -hmm. in my head. And if they didn't, they were in the 40s. They definitely weren't in the 20s no, they were or the 30s. Them. And so comedians used to be older before they got on telly. But then suddenly the 80s happened and then I was sort of around in them, started in the mid-90s. Yeah. And, and comedians were suddenly like 18 or 19 on stage. And it was, you know, Ross Noble. I used to gig with Ross. He was like 15. Yeah. 15. Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> And now you see him and he's like, my back's killing me like my knees are fucked. <laughs> well, I'm going to see him in a couple of weeks. Is uh, he coming on? He's coming on in a couple of oh, weeks. Oh, lovely. Yes, yes that'd be fun. I hope you've researched his failures. I would, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Fell off of course. his bike once, broke his leg. Yeah. Bring that up, that'll cheer him up. Should I tell him, should I remind him of the time all of his house and possessions got burnt? To death? No, mm. I won't. <laughs> I won't I do that. I mean, that might do... be a bit dark, actually, Richard. Uh, yeah. Ask you... Unlike the Nazi I interviewed, yeah. people were killed, Richard. <laughs> they were. <laughs> gotta laugh, don't you? Yeah. Um, gotta well. laugh. Gonna ask you some emergency questions. Mike, Mike. Oh, you mean you haven't already? They were the real questions. <laughs> they were the real questions. Wow, I'm dreading this. Um, the first one that comes up is a bit... I don't like the fact they're stuck in like a serial killer. It's <laughs> good. Oh, was... These are my favourite ones. Yeah. Um, uh, this is in, along the same theme as we've been talking about. Do you think you're the the photo that will accompany your obituary has already been taken? That's a good question, Thank that. You. I like that question. That's a very good question. I hope so. Yeah, do you? Well, but it'll look better, won't it? I suppose. I don't want it to be like the last... I don't want it to be the last shot, like as I'm hitting the windscreen. <laughs> I don't want them to use this, the, the speed camera that just happened to catch the incident. <laughs> This was the last photo he saw. <laughs> but and Richard, could, Richard will be watching the news going, I hope he survives the coma, <laughs> then I can bring up another one of his fucking incidences <laughs> that was awful. One of his failures. So, Lee, great to have you back. You can't drive, can you? <laughs> well, it's all relative. Soup. In, in the eight years I've seen you, since you were last on... Is that what it is? Eight years? Yeah, all I've done is this, and you've done lots of other things uh, as well. As these well things. So it's all re failure and I might go back and watch that, because it's still available on the YouTube. Yeah, I think it probably is. Do you YouTube. reckon we're not as grey? As grey? Well, I bet you've probably watched it back, have you, recently? I haven't. I didn't bother watching it. I bet it. we're not, because we're both grey, aren't we? I'm very yeah. grey on the beard, and you're... Are you proper grey, or are you dyed grey? Uh, <laughs> well, like, <laughs> no, if you've done the thing where you're a bit grey, think, I'm going to dye it to make it all look grey. No. So I look wizened and... I, I wish. No, it's no, all... It's just grey. This, this is natural. I mean, I don't know about the... I haven't had my hair cut this year. I don't know why. It's like I'm in lockdown. But I'm not... I've been allowed to go out and to I use like, the barbers. I like that. Yeah, it's, I can't work out. It's good. It's proper midlife crisis cut. Some, someone... Someone uh, drunkenly on uh, Instagram 
said, why have you got your hair like that? You look like, it's reminiscent of Jimmy Savile. Uh, and then wow. he looked like Rolf Harris, this guy. So I kind of came back at him with a couple of things. You've really got to have a look at your demographic. Yeah. <laughs> But in a way, if you're a bitch photo who hasn't yet been taken, it means your greatest success is yet to come. That's what well, that question was. Not necessarily. Look at Rolf Harris's obituary photograph. <laughs> they weren't showing a photograph of him painting anything, were they? No. They showed him, after, you know, the later life. Yeah, of. that's true. It depends what happens to me in the future. Yeah. But I just hope that... No, I'd like to think that my obituary photograph is, is from Fear the Freeze. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> it's a bit... You know, you have actually done so many different things. It would be... It's not... A dead, you know, David Mitchell, I think, Peep Show. They're going to do, there'll be a still from Peep Show. He's in fucking Wood of Light. I know well. he is. But I think, I don't you think. You think Peep Show will be the one? I think Peep Show will be the one, but I think you've done so many things. No, I don't think he will because Peep Show, he looks younger. Yeah. I, don't, I think they'll but, go with the beardy version of David because that's the one we Might think of now. Yeah. But he'll live. Uh, of me, David, and Rob on Wood of Light, we've had this conversation. Yeah. He will. We, I have often thought, who will go first? Who will yeah. be the last? <laughs> Who, who's doing, let's just say, who's doing the speech at both the funerals? <laughs> OK. And I, I rate my chances. Yeah. Because Rob's, he's smaller than me. Yeah. So there's more chance of an accident. <laughs> Definitely. He's got, if we fall off the same thing, he's got longer to fall, hasn't he? OK. I mean, you fall Common off sense. Something. What if a blade comes uh, at a... Depends on the height of the blade, six, doesn't it? You know, five foot eight. Yeah, but if it comes at five foot six, <laughs> cutting his head off, just hitting me in the nipples, is it? Oh, I suppose a blade that cuts your head off also slices you through the nipples. <laughs> I've thought that through. But I think David is the youngest of the three of us, but David, right. David has the presence of an older man than the two of us. Yeah. So, you think, you know, so do you think he's going to die before you? Oh, definitely. And if he doesn't, I'll make it happen. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going first, I'll tell you now. If I go first, I'm taking one of them fuckers with me. Yeah. What it's going to be, be a draw for yeah. two of us. What would be good if one of you pretended to die and then jumped out and said, it was a lie at the funeral? That would, that would be a nice touch, wouldn't it? That would be good, yeah. yeah. And then shock the other one too so much they both died. That would be phenomenally that unlikely, but good. I'll... Uh, let's just go with that, guys. <laughs> Could happen. But um, yeah, no, I think my photograph has probably... I'd like to think that it has been taken. Yeah. So then I look a bit, bit younger. I yeah. think I peaked at about... I was, when I started comedy, I, I, all I wanted to be was 10 stone. I was so underweight, very skinny. Yes. And the first TV show I did in the mid-90s, I don't look very well at all. <laughs> show called Gas. No one remembers this. You might remember it. I, remember, I think I introduced you as being the host of Gas last time. Oh, you did were, you? Right. Yeah. Well, the, the uh, mid-90s, very skinny. All I wanted to do was be like 10 stone. Now, all I want to be is like 13 and a half stone, <laughs> but by minusing. So it stands to reason there was a perfect sort of six or seven year period yeah. where without trying, I was bang on. Bang on. I was probably about a nice 12 and a half. Yeah. So I'm hoping they use that shot because I'm pretty fit. Okay, well, I'll I'm, make I look sure at myself do. and I'm very semi-detached then. <laughs> about mid-30s, I reckon. Remember the sketch show? That's yeah. what I was on then, so I think hopefully they'll use that. But that's it. So there's so many, you know, there's so many different things that they could use. They're going to have to have a little, you know, montage shot. Of I hope they don't this. get mixed up with like the One Percent Club with three by three. Yeah. And they show an image of me, which, which they can easily do, can't they? Mix yeah. it up and show that. And in the background, you see blood all over the screen, <laughs> and they go, Lee Mac hosting one of his many <laughs> successful quiz shows. <laughs> blood dripping down at the back. 